Hi Stampers, this is Holly from Rubber Redneck. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to another Rubber Redneck video tutorial. Today's video I'm going to be demonstrating my Hostess Club project for the month of October. My hostesses that are in my $625 club every month receive a completed project along with the paper kit to recreate that project and there are no stamped images in the paper kit and then they also get the printed directions as well. For more details about my $625 club or my other hostess clubs, please visit my blog rubberredneck.typepad.com. Today's project uses the Halloween treat stamp set from our holiday catalog and then I paired it with the Booty You Framelits. And then you can also purchase these two items together to save 15%. This is a really cute little set. So this is how my Hostess Club project com paper kit comes. So we're going to take everything out of here so that you can get an idea. And they get all these fun little pieces to recreate that project. To start out with, you're going to want to cut one piece of basic black cardstock. And you're going to want to cut that at 2.5 by 6.5. Place it onto the Simply Scored scoring tool and score at 3 inches and then at 3 and a quarter. And then score at 3.5. Once you have that scored, then what you're going to do is you're going to zip it through the big shot with the circle framelits to die cut out one end of that basic black cardstock. And when you die cut that out, you want to put that framelit on the inside so that this will be hidden. That little indent from the framelits will be hidden. Once you have that part done, then you're going to fold on the scored lines and use your bone folder to crease this down. And what you want to do is create like a valley fold. So you're going to fold one way the first scored line, fold the second backwards the second score line, and then that third scored line you're going to fold back the other way creating what I call a valley fold, a W, or if you want to turn it, an M. So then once you have that folded on that scored line, then this is what it's going to look like. Then you want to cut one piece of the Happy Haunting Designer Series paper in that Tangelo twist pattern. Cut that at a half an inch by three inches. And then when you glue this to the basic black cardstock, we're going to glue it down here on the bottom. So put your glue going across the black, basic black cardstock. And then just place this onto your basic black cardstock so that it's centered there. Then you want to cut one piece of the silver glimmer paper and you want to cut that at a half an inch by one inch. Then you're going to put the glue over here on the left side onto that Happy Haunting Designer paper. And you want to just put a little bit, not a lot, because it's a small piece. And then hide your glue there, just attach that right to it. And when you attach the silver glimmer paper, you want to be over here to the left, just a little bit. Just enough to cover that little bottom of that circle. Then you want to cut one piece of the cherry cobbler designer or cherry on top designer series paper and you want that Bermuda Bay triangle pattern. And you're going to cut that at a half an inch by two inches. Once you have that cut, you're going to need your banner punch and then we're going to punch out one end of this designer paper. And you want to feed it through the top, line it up so it's centered and then punch. Once you have that punched out, then we're going to glue this to these layers. So then you want to just put some glue going across the bottom of that silver glimmer paper and a little bit over here onto the Happy Haunting. And the reason why I'm gluing directly on the project is so that you, I don't get glue up too high where this, this opening is. So that's how I recommend doing this project. And then just attach that right on there. You want to cut one piece of Whisper White cardstock at 2 inches by 2 inches. Take the stamps from the stamp from Halloween Tree, ink the bone in the Tuxedo Black Memento ink, and stamp onto your Whisper White cardstock. 
Do that again so that you have two bones. Once you have those two bones stamped, then you're going to zip them through the Big Shot with the Booty U Framelits to die cut them out. Then we want to attach these to the right side of our little treat holder. Now you want to cut a little piece of stamping dimensional off the edge here, and then you're going to place a stamping dimensional in the center on the back of one of your bones. And then you want to attach that over here onto the right side, and when you attach that, you want the top of the bone to cover the edge of that silver glimmer paper. And you're going to put it on an angle. Once you have that one on there, then you want to take and put a little bit of glue in the center of that bone. And you just want to put a little dot, dot just enough to hold that. Then you're going to take your other bone and you're going to form your cross. And then you have successfully hidden the end of that cherry on top designer paper so it has a finished edge there. You want to cut one piece of Whisper White cardstock at 3 8 by 2 inches. Once you have that cut, you want to take this stamp from Teeny Tiny Wishes, ink it in Hello Honey, and stamp onto your Whisper White cardstock. Then you're going to notch out the one end of that Whisper White cardstock with your scissors. After you have that cut out, then you want to attach that again with a little bit of stamping dimensionals. So I'm just going to cut two little pieces off the side here. And then you want to attach this going across your little skulls. And you're just going to place it so it goes right on the center, overlapping everything on the left there. Once you have that part done, then you want to create a bow out of the Bermuda Bay Thick Baker's Twine, and then you're going to attach that bow with a glue dot. And we're going to put that right on the end of that Whisper Weight Happy Halloween. You want to cut one piece of Whisper Weight cardstock at 2 inches by 2 inches. Then you want to take the stamp from Halloween Tree, ink the skull in the tuxedo black, and stamp onto your Whisper White cardstock. Zip that through the Big Shot with the Booty U Framelits to die cut that out. Then you're going to need one of our mini clothespins. And what you want to do is you're going to take and cut another little piece of the stamping dimensional off the side here. And then we're going to attach this right onto that clothespin. And then peel off the backing and attach your skull right onto that clothespin so it hides the bottom of the clothespin here. So it'll look like that. Once you have that part done, then you want to take two fun size Hershey bars and we're going to place them inside that basic black cardstock. And then up here at the top, we're going to pinch this and pull on, open your clothespin and just attach that at the top. And then that's what holds that fun little cute treat holder together. Then you want to pull off two sequins off of the silver sequin trim. And then we're going to attach these with glue dots. So place them right onto your glue dot roll. And then we're going to place these onto the center of the little skull here. So then it'll look like that so far. And then you want to take that rhinestone basic jewel and we're going to put that in the bottom left corner here on your basic black cardstock. And then that completes the video for the skull wrapper treat holder. Thank you for watching.